What exactly huh? is cholesterol? I think, I think it is probably an alien. Oh, chumpum. Cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance. It is present in all the cells of our body. Cholesterol helps in building cells, vitamins, as well as hormones. Our liver makes all the cholesterol needed by us. But sometimes, our eating habits can force our liver to make more cholesterol than necessary. As a result, there is too much cholesterol in our blood. It combines with other substances and forms a thick, hard deposit on the inside of our arteries. As a result, our arteries become narrow, increasing the risk of heart disease or stroke. Hmm. What is the science behind our chins? No ways! There is nothing behind my chin. Oh, chum-pum! Firstly, it is believed that chins relieve our jaws from the stress that they encounter while chewing food. Secondly, it is believed that our tongues may be putting a lot of stress on our jaws while speaking. Now our chin may be acting as a reinforcing bone, which resists that pressure. Thirdly, it is believed that chins exist to help us attract <laughs> mates. Lastly, according to one theory, our ancestors had bigger faces. We evolved into smaller ones, and our chins are still gradually shrinking. Hmm. Can zebras be domesticated? Impossible. You see what they did to me? Oh, chum-pum. Firstly, zebras are known to have one of the strongest kicks in the animal kingdom. Secondly, zebras are known to have an extremely powerful bite. Thirdly, as compared to horses, it is extremely difficult to capture a zebra using a lasso, as zebras have a very efficient built-in ducking reflex. Hmm. Lastly, horses have a strong family structure. If the head of the family is captured, then the rest of the family follows him. The same is not the case with a zebra. Hmm. Why is ketchup so difficult to pour? No problem. Just use a tomato. Huh? Oh, chum-pum. Firstly, as compared to water, ketchup has a higher viscosity. Viscosity is the resistance of a fluid to flowing. That means ketchup provides more resistance to flowing as compared to water. Ketchup consists of many ingredients. But if we look closely, the solid parts of the ketchup, as in the tomato bits, are actually touching each other. This physical connection of the tomato bits gives ketchup the strength to resist flowing. Hence, ketchup is so hard to pour. Hmm. What is the huh? science behind a jellyfish's sting? No idea. I bunked all my science classes. Oh, chum-pum. Jellyfish's tentacles contain thousands of venom containing stinging cells called conidocytes. Conidocytes are basically small compartments which house many needle-like stingers. The stinger lies coiled under high osmotic pressure. Hmm. Now, when there is a trigger due to an external force, the lid of the stinging cell pops open and seawater rushes in. This forces the mini needle like stinger to shoot out, penetrate, and finally inject venom into the victim. This discharge can occur in less than one millionth of a second. This is how a jellyfish stings. Hmm. Why does my foot fall asleep? Don't worry, I will wake it up. Oh, chum pum. Nerves are like cables which run through our entire body. Their main function is to carry electrical impulses or messages between our brain and our body. Now, when we sit on our foot, the nerves in that area are temporarily compressed. Hence, these nerves are not able to send any message to our brain or receive any message from our brain. As a result, the connection between our brain and our foot is cut off. Hence, huh? it feels like our foot has fallen asleep. Hmm. Why do humans huh? have so many moles? Simple, because I invented them. Huh? Oh, chum-pum. Our skin has cells called melanocytes. They give our skin its color. However, sometimes these cells tend to grow in clusters, thus huh? forming moles. Moles can be present at birth or can appear later in life. Huh? They are usually black or brown and can be flat or raised. Some moles may even disappear with age. Hmm. How can some people predict rain? Simple, by using their sixth sense. Oh, chum-pum. Lightning usually occurs just before the beginning of heavy rainfall. 
Nitrogen and oxygen molecules which are present in the atmosphere are split by the lightning bolts. This eventually leads to the production of ozone. Now, strong blowing winds carry this ozone downward along with them. Ozone is a very sharp smelling gas. When a person smells this ozone, it helps him predict the rain. Hmm. Why are we afraid of the dark? Chum Pum is not afraid. Chum Pum loves ghosts. Oh, Chum Pum. In prehistoric times, especially at night, our ancestors were at high risk of being attacked by predators or enemies. Hence, through evolution, the tendency to fear darkness developed in us. Also, as we cannot see properly in the dark, we become anxious and start to imagine the worst possible outcomes. Hence, we are afraid of the dark. Hmm. Does it rain diamonds huh? on Jupiter and Saturn? <laughs> yes, and Chum Pum is going to catch all of them. Oh, Chum Pum. Scientists believe that it can actually rain diamonds on Jupiter and Saturn. Hmm. These planets have methane-rich atmospheres. During storms, lightning turns methane present huh? in clouds into soot. As soot begins to fall, it is subjected to intense temperatures and pressures. These conditions squeeze the soot into chunks of graphite. As the pressure increases, graphite is compressed, making it literally rain diamonds. Hmm. Why do humans have a belly button? Simple. To do belly dance. Oh, chum pum. When a baby is growing inside a mother's womb, it is not possible for the baby to eat food like us. The umbilical cord carries nutrients from the mother to the baby. Also, it takes away the waste which the baby does not need anymore. Now, when the baby is born, it does not need the umbilical cord anymore. Hence, the doctor cuts the umbilical cord, leaving behind a tiny stump. This stump falls off after a few weeks. This is how we get our belly button. What is M-pox? Simple. When monkey eats a pox, he becomes an M-pox. Oh, huh? chum pum. Monkey pox was discovered in 1958 when an outbreak of pox-like disease occurred in colonies of monkeys kept for research. The first human case of monkey pox was recorded in 1970. Monkey pox virus is part of the same family of viruses as variola virus, the virus that causes smallpox. Its symptoms are similar to smallpox, but milder. Huh? Symptoms huh? of monkeypox may include fever, headache, muscle aches, backache, chills, exhaustion, and a rash that looks like pimples or bristles. Also, monkeypox is rarely fatal. Hmm. Do blind people really dream? Nobody can dream. Only Chum Pum can dream. Oh, Chum Pum. If a blind person lost his vision in the later stage of his life, then his brain would use visual information stored in his memories to create dreams. Now, if a blind person is blind since birth, then his brain has never received any visual information. So instead, his dreams would get their content from memories of sound, smell, touch, etc., which he perceives in his everyday life. But in one science experiment, people who were blind since birth were able to draw their dreams. Hmm. 